Hello guys. Hope you've had a lovely weekend. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, as you can see, Isaac has got the cylinder head on the Vauxhall now. And we've given this cylinder head a good old paint and a blast and what have you, and that looks really nice. Unfortunately, I've just spoke to Newman Cams and they're still waiting for the blanks to come in this week. He said they're definitely going to be in next week, so at the very latest, two weeks, and we'll have the cams back. So a little bit of disappointment there. I was hoping to get this done by the end of this week, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen now. Um, so, yeah, we just I think he's taught the head down. We've got all the exhaust studs out, which is a bit of a laborious job. We're going to stick some new studs in there, make it look all nice. I suppose we can get all the, the sort of ancillaries on, like the water pump and all the rest of it. And then, uh, yeah, just wait for the cams, unfortunately. I think Isaac's around the back at the minute, just um, painting some bits. The rocker cover is all painted. And as you can see, I'm just giving it a coat of lacquer now. I'm sure I'm gonna get plenty of stick in the comments for this. <laughs> but I don't mind, as long as it looks all right at the end of it. Really, we don't want it, I don't want it looking real glossy and shiny. And I just want it um, it's just a bit of protection really for the paint and sort of to take the dullness off of the paint so that's all we do so here's the Cosworth head I'm going to give this one a good clean up this is the one on the engine I've got to build up where I've got no bits basically so we've got new guides here we've got new valves and if you can see down there, the only thing we're missing out of this head is spring bases, springs and spring tops. Oh, and collets. <laughs> so apart from that, we've got everything. Um, right, one annoying thing about these guides, it's not annoying if you've got the original guides that come out, but as you can see, there's a groove in the top here and this groove holds a circlip. Now, when you buy these guides for the Cosworth, they don't come with that circlip. So what we have to do usually is take them out of the old guides, but because this has got no guides in it, we have no circlips. So I've got to try and find those before we insert these guides into those holes. Um, you can see there all the new valves. Um, these valves are quite reasonably priced actually. I think these are about eight, nine quid each. Um, they're really good quality. So yeah, we've got a set of valves to go in. Next step, I think we're going to give this a good clean um, and give it a paint. Um, once I've got those circlips, we can get those guides in and get this head well on its way. So slight update here on the, the Lotus Twin Cam guys. Um, as I said to you before, we are going to replace these Comrods. So I've got Mar Motorsport out looking at the moment to see if we can get a Comrod in the near future. Um, these obviously are available, but um, the only other place I haven't tried yet is Arrow, but they're usually astronomically expensive, but needs must. If we have to do that, we have to do it. But I'll just try Adrian at Mars, see if we can get a, um, a Comrod of the equivalent um, a bit sooner, because you tend to find at the moment with this, not just the special stuff, but with everything like the crank bearings and all that, they're tending to make sort of small batch, batches of stuff, and then they get distributed between sort of stockists or suppliers, and, um, and it goes fairly smartish. So yeah, these rods are, are sort of in the making. Uh, pistons we can get, but we can only get at the size we've got at the moment. So what I'm going to do is because I've got a feeling um, that these bores are slightly tight, to be honest with you. There's a couple of little marks, as Paul described before, but if we can afford with the running clearance we have to use on the new pistons, um, if we can afford to take a couple of thou out or you know even a thou and a half, then we might be able to stick at this bore size and that'd be absolutely fine. Um, I'm not just doing a deglaze, obviously, because we need to remove a little bit of material, but a thou and a half would be absolutely fine. So just gonna check the running clearance of the pistons available from Mar. If not, we're gonna have to go to another piston. Um, I noticed Burton do list Acrolyte pistons, which some people don't like Acrolyte. And the only reason I can see for that is the fact that they don't run the correct clearance in and if they if they don't run the correct clearance they can seize up so aquilite tend to run a bit more of a running clearance so i'm going to check those the availability on those um if they do an oversize ideal but 
My feeling is if we can get them in the same size, we'll only have to hone a little bit out of this block. Obviously got to face it. You can see here, there's starting to blow on here and you know, we face it anyway, don't we? Um, so the crank's all good. John's checked the crank. The mains are still at standard, but polished. The crank is straight as a die. We've just ground the big ends. And the only reason for that is because it, it knocked this one end out. So yeah, it's a steel crank. So that's a, a fantastic bit of kit. So we're gonna use that. All the cam, you know, all the, the head assembly there is all um, ready to go back in. Just got to sort the head out. So yeah, we just set back on the rods at, at the moment, guys. Uh, Paul's in tomorrow. Um, so we've got the, the Clio V6 here, partly stripped. I'm going to leave that to him because that's his baby at the moment. I don't want to start taking bits off when he doesn't know where he is. So I'm going to leave that with him. Actually, guys, I've just nearly tripped over this. Um, didn't even see this one come in. I just had a word with John and this is a three and a half litre Jag, another Jag. So yeah, we've got the, uh, the 4.2 there, which we've got to do after this one. Um, but yeah, this is a three and a half and apparently this is in a, an E-type replica, um, a little bit like this one is actually. Um, so yeah, this is a complete go through, but fortunately um, the guy stripped it himself, which um, does help us a little bit on, on the time scale wise. But I suspect that is just sort the crank out, obviously a balance, rebore, face the block, go through the head, the usual really. Obviously going to fit the, um, the bucket housing retainer kit on that. So guys, we've been cracking on with the Vauxhall this afternoon. I've been helping Isaac just to get to the stage where we can go no further really. And to be honest, it's looking absolutely fantastic. Now bear in mind, this engine has been sitting in a damp garage for 22 years. Um, I think that we've sort of, um, I think we've restored it rather well. So here it is guys, obviously the rocker's just lying on at the moment. You can see, we're obviously not painters, but we've, we've painted that, lacquered it, got our little sticker on there. And I think that's looking lovely. That's just a, a Vauxhall bright red, that is. You can see the cylinder head's all done. And we've got our new studs in there. This is the replacement block. Obviously the old block is underneath the bench there, the one with the big crack. I shall show you that in case you haven't seen that or forgot what it looked like. So you see the crack all the way up here. That to me does look like frost damage. So we could stitch that, but it's just not worth it. Um, so yeah, let's say all, we look, all we're waiting for now is the camshafts. Got all the pulleys on, um, bottom pulley just to go on. Obviously all pumps on there, Isaac has blasted and painted the the sump which looks fantastic so yeah well on our way with that guys and I think it looks really really good so we've got the front pulleys to go on I expect they're going to look proper smart when they're on there so yeah really happy with that right guys we've got a little ongoing problem two and a half years ago we did a we lined a block for a guy with a Volvo um, it was a 2.3 Volvo that he got in a V70 or something like that. Um, don't know why, I can't remember the story now, but he had the 2.3 in there. Um, but his original block, it's a t it was a V70R, I think. His original block was the two and a half litre. Now, as I say, can't remember the story, but he bought the block in in the December of 19 to be linered. So I linered it as I do the Ford blocks. And so I use our top hat liner that sort of butt up against each other. Um, and that was that. Then six months later, he brings the original engine in and says, I want my block put into the engine. He said, I was going to do it, but I may as well get you boys to do it. So he bought it in. We, it was on an original board, but I remember at the time we couldn't get pistons. So he had four really good pistons and one not so good piston. So he went away and got a second hand piston. Because we were using the liner block, I was happy with the bores. So a set of rings and these pistons, no problem at all. Obviously went through the head, um, polished the crank, all the rest of it, and put it together for him. So time's gone on. It's another scenario, a little bit like the golf, really, where two years has passed. He's, he's fiddle and farted around. It was about a year before he even got the car going for, for whatever reason. Um, but he's done a few miles in it. He said he'd done three, 400 miles, something like that. And all of a sudden it started using some water. And um, when he had a look at the dipstick, it's all a bit creamy in there. So we suggested, you know, get, um, 
let's have a look at your oil cooler, all the usual things. I think I did a video on this quite a while ago and got some suggestions from you guys in the comments um, about what to check, you know. So we did all those checks, but didn't seem to have made any difference. We had the turbo done originally, but I even got the turbo sent away and checked again, and he said it was absolutely fine. So he's took the cylinder head off himself and he's took the sump off. He's pressurized the system um, and had a look, you know, no, there's no, nothing coming by the liners or anything like that. Took the cylinder head off. The gasket looks like it's seating perfectly. No visible cracks or anything like that of where the water could be going. So the reason I'm sticking this in a video, guys, is before we get him to go and pull the lump out um, and we'll strip it all down, wonder whether you can help us on this one. As I say, it's a V70R and it's, it's almost like when it starts to get warm, it's just literally emptying the header tank into um, the sump by the sounds of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to suggest that, as I say, I'll go over and have a look at the vehicle or whether he can get it over to us. As I say, in the meantime, he's had bits off, he's had the sump off, the head off and all this. And by the sounds of it recently, he's timed it up very slightly wrong and it's not running too great. So I don't know what he's done there. But yeah, I had an email off him at the weekend sort of suggesting he's heads in his hands. He don't really know where to go with it. And he knows it's a couple of years down the line, but can we sort of help him out? So yeah, a warranty is a warranty, but you know, he has sort of made us aware, I think, um, in good time. And he hasn't used the car very much. Um, so I don't know, guys. We're going to have to have a look at this one. But really appreciate it if any of you guys are familiar with the V70R engine um, and have heard of this issue and what we could look really before. What I'm a bit worried about is if, if we do all this work, get it all stripped, obviously down to a bare block and pressurise the block, um, because it doesn't seem to do it when it's cold, we might not see anything. Um, so I don't know, it just seems like a bit of an odd one to me. We've never really heard of it not doing a gasket um, and still giving this problem. It just seems to be emptying it into the, well, an oil way or, or, or into the sump. So very, very strange scenario this. So help us out guys, if you can. Well, thanks very much for watching guys. Until another video, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we will see you again. Cheers.